Welcome to Tech Talk Live today on thermostatic mixing valves and it's going to be carried out by Martin Frost of Our Technic Limited. Hello, welcome to Tech Talk Live on thermostatic mixing valves. My name is Martin Frost and I'm an OEM account manager for Our Technic. With me today is Steve Ellsmore, Our Technic product specialist. Our Technic were formed in 1988 and we manufacture thermostatic radiator valves pressure reducing valves and of course thermostatic mixing valves. We're part of the Kalefi group and we're the, one of the largest manufacturers of quality plumbing products in Europe. Most hot water delivered at the tap comes from either a stored source or a combination boiler. The problem with that is that it's at least 60 degrees centigrade. Uh, at a tap you have to deliver it at no more than 46 degrees. So we have an anomaly there. We have to get it from the high temperature delivered down to the low temperature. TMVs then fall into several types and it's imperative that the correct type of TMV is installed into the correct system that it's going into. You don't want a blending valve going into the wrong insulation. You don't want a TMV2 going into the wrong insulation. TMV3s um, can go into most applications but TMV2s cannot go into a TMV3 application. Tempering valves are governed by BSEN 15092. TMV2s are governed by EN 1111 and EN 1287. TMV3s are governed by Department of Health Performance Specification D08. A TMV3 is an enhanced specification. Prior to installing a TMV, the system should be thoroughly cleaned and flushed. TMV 2s and 3s actually fall into two different categories, uh, 2 in 1 and 4 in 1. A TMV that is a 2 in 1 has a check valve and a strainer. A 4 in 1 has a check valve, a strainer, an isolating valve and a test port. Delivery temperatures of hot water at the tap within the United Kingdom within bathrooms are governed by the build cert scheme. Temperatures at the tap in a bathroom must reach no more than 44 degrees centigrade for unassisted bathing, 46 degrees centigrade for assisted bathing, 41 degrees centigrade for showers and 38 degrees centigrade for B-days. That said, most of the hot water that's supplied to those taps in the United Kingdom probably comes from an unvented cylinder such as this. The problem that we have there is that stored hot water within the United Kingdom has to be at 60 degrees or above to combat Legionella disease. There then is an obvious disconnect, simply between 60 and the low 40s. That then presents us with an issue of how do we achieve that reduction in temperature and the only way that we can actually achieve it is to use a TMV2 or a TMV3. Sorry Steve, if we take a closer look at this bath now, our members probably install these quite often. So accessibility when you install, that's number one I'd like to ask what you would recommend and also take consideration of Legionella risks. Okay, Paul. So, firstly, you need to keep the dead leg to a minimal, so it needs to be sited close to the outlet. And in this case, we've sited the TMV2 underneath the bath at the front edge where it can be accessed from the bath panel. Okay, so I mean, I've seen this before. People get confused, or well, they might be ill informed. They install that valve closer to the embedded cylinder, for example, which could be 10 15 metres away. We assume there's a Legionella risk there, do you think? Certainly, yeah, because your dead leg is far too long. Uh, okay. These need to be kept as close to the outlet as is possible. Okay, thank you. So let's have a look at the main component parts of the TMVs. The first part that we're going to look at is strainers. There's a strainer on both the hot and the cold water inlets, and they're there to stop any debris in the system getting into the main component parts of the valve. The second component to look at are the check valves. There's also a check valve on the hot water and the cold water, just like the strainers, and they are there purely for backflow protection. The third port of call 
is the thermostatic cartridge. It's there to ensure that the mixed water is at correct temperature at your tap. The last two components are the shuttle and the spring. These two move up and down dependent on the temperature registered at the thermostatic cartridge. Okay, let's have a look how this valve works in reality. We have hot and cold water supply into the valve. It's mixed inside the valve to a temperature as set by the valve. In the event that you get a supply interruption to the cold water, the valve will go into safe mode, fail safe mode. This, once it's registered, will shut off the hot water supply to the valve immediately. I'd like to thank Steve Ellsmore and Martin Frost of our Technic for an excellent Tech Tour Live on thermostatic mixing valves. There's three key things I'd like to point out here. Number one is these valves are not fit and forget. They need to be maintained on a regular basis. Secondly, is the two types the two main types, a TMV2 and a TMV3, you need to install the correct one into the correct application. So the TMV3 is an advanced and enhanced uh, valve which is used for the National Health Service applications. And finally, the location of the valve. It shouldn't be installed too far away from the point of view. So if it's a bathroom, it's installed right by the taps in an accessible position of which architects or the designer should allow for this from the outset.